engineering, uh, mammalian cells, and bioprocessing, current achievements, and future perspe perspectives. Over the past 20 years, we have seen significant improvements in product titers from 50 mg per liter to 5 to 10 grams per liter, a more than 100-fold increase. The main methods that have been employed to achieve this increase in product titer have been through the manipulation of culture media and process control strategies such as the optimization of fed batch processes. An alternative means to increase productivity has been through the engineering of whole cells from altering cellular processes. Recombinant DNA technology has been used to over express or suppress specific genes to indel particular phenotypes. Cellular processes that have been altered in whole cells include metabolism, cell cycle, protein secretion, and apoptosis. Cell engineering has been uh, employed to improve post-translational modifications such as glycosylation in this article and overview of the main cell engineering strategies previously employed and the impact of these strategies are presented. Many of these strategies focus on engineering cell lines with more efficient carbon metabolism towards reducing waste metabolites, achieving a biphasic production system by engineering cell cycle control, increasing protein secretion by target specific endoplasmic reticulum stress chaperones. Delaying cell death by targeting anti-apoptosis genes and engineering glycosylation by enhancing recombinant protein silylation and antibody glycosylation, future perspective for whole cell engineering and possible areas of research are also discussed in this review. Cell engineering strategies to improve cell metabolism, reduce the flux of pyruvate to lactate, reduce gly glucose consumption and lactic production rate, also reduce glycolysis rate, pyruvate carboxylase, overexpression of yeast cytosolic, pyruvate carboxylase to achieve enhanced conversion of pyruvate into oxalic oxalicate acetate, reduce glucose consumption and lactic production rate, 